schools are in hopes of helping to alleviate the overcrowding in classroom sizes that have really become a problem for the nation's fifth largest school district. Brian? And Denise, while there were thousands of in-person meet and greets between teachers and students across the Clark County School District today, other students will be meeting their teachers for the very first time by actually logging onto their computer. Kirsten Joyce is live in studio joining us now with those details. Kirsten? Well, Brian, of course, you used to be a teacher before embarking upon this career choice. And while that is certainly the norm at brick and mortar schools, there are several different options that parents can choose from to decide what best fits their child's needs. Sheila Hulsey enrolled her son, Hunter, in Nevada Connections Academy, a virtual school. He started in kinder, now he's starting fourth grade, and she says it's the best decision she ever made. She gets to be involved, he gets personalized interactions with his teachers. And if he needs to be pushed more in one subject or advanced, he gets that as well. She says she loves the flexibility it offers her family. It's still like the same as um, traditional school, but you know, we get to go on vacation when we want to. We can bring a laptop with us and he can do school if we're going on vacation or, you know, he's into, he's ice um, doing hockey now. So he likes to spend a lot of time on the ice. So we do that in the afternoons if we want to. It's just a different avenue where I get that one-on-one -on -one time. So when I'm talking to a student for 20 minutes, that looks a lot different than talking to a student in a brick and mortar school for 20 minutes because that 20 minutes is broken up by announcements, phone calls, bathroom breaks, uh, a rubber band flown across the room, a pencil flown across the room, and miss your eye, a chair flown across the room. You just never know. Nevada Connections Academy is a free virtual public school for students K through 12. It operates statewide. Kids are tested at the beginning of the year and based on those results are then given their curriculum. Well, this is different from homeschooling as in the parents are not the teachers and they don't have to purchase the curriculum or come up with a lesson plan. Denise.